Thank you. So we're going to talk today a bit about um, better connecting the dots and where do we see the world of condition monitoring going. Uh, Blue Vision is part of HAD Global. Uh, we are the BLE industry leader today, shipping more than 2 million uh, BLE sensors uh, and trackers a year. Uh, we are offering a wide range of sensors, uh, whether you are locating or sensing different equipments. But most importantly, uh, we are in the business of connecting people and machine in an era of big data, uh, analytics, um, a connected, intelligent world. IoT has been around for a while. Uh, I'm sure that you all have been hearing this buzzword, and then IoT became an industry for that all, went back to IoT. And I think that the message uh, we are bringing is that IoT is not new, it's just matured. It became easy, it became accessible, it became something that you can deploy today, uh, stripping it from la layers of complexity that were here before. And we are doing that by combining a variety of technologies that became standard. Um, as for AJD, we are offering a wide range of uh, uh, products from passive RFID in HF, LF, uh, UHF frequencies, uh, but today we're going to talk about our BLE technology, Bluetooth Low Energy, and how it comes to play in uh, connected factories. On the beacon side, so this is a BLE beacon. It's a battery-powered device. You'll typically find a five-year battery life on these devices. They come in different form factors and sizes. They house a variety of different sensors, um, and they all interface together uh, through a single system. Add a BlueFi. Uh, this little device, and this costs less than 50 euros, uh, is really a very simple Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge. What this device does is it listens to up to 200 BLE sensors, receives the data, and then delivers the data to the cloud over Wi-Fi. So it's a very simple device. You plug it in an outlet, and you go live. Um, there is no need to comp for complex architectures. Uh, it's a s I, I, I know that plug and play is a Microsoft term from the 80s, you probably remember. Uh, this is truly plug and play, and we have invested a lot of effort uh, and, and, and intelligence in driving simplicity rather than complexity. So today you can be IoT intelligent and yet very, very simple. Everything cloud enabled. Cloud Cloud enablement makes deployment very simple because you don't have to install servers and configure complex software. We know how to manage tens of millions of uh, beacons concurrently on, uh, through a single cloud platform. Um, and it is a self-calibrated, self-driven uh, 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 type of architecture that allows you to not only onboard data into platforms like Mindsphere, but also implement policies like alerts and analytics on the back end. How does it all work? Really simple, actually. BLE devices are emitting a signal over BLE frequency. This signal is picked up by a BlueFi reader, uh, which is then related to the cloud. One of the interesting advantages of working with BLE technology, unlike a variety of proprietary RF uh, standards, is that any mobile phone can interact with our BLE sensors to the point where uh, if you have a field engineer walking up to a machine, you don't need specialty equipment. If you have a phone in your pocket, you can download an app, walk up to a sensor, offload and read data from it locally, instantaneously, without having to equip people with specialty devices. Everything we do across the board is, first, location aware. Um, our system knows to attach a geospatial coordinate to every sensor we have deployed in the field. And we know how to implement analytics on top of the location data. And of course, condition aware. Uh, we know how to read the sensor data and we analyze it, delivering some recommendations or wisdom that is relevant to your operations. So what do we bring to Mindsphere? I think that if you look at the world of machines, rotating engines on the manufacturing floor or in the logistical process, you can roughly divide uh, the world into two groups. 
you have the top 20% where you have very expensive, complex, critical machines, highlighted here in a little image we stole from uh, Siemens with the very nice electric blue. These type of devices usually receive a PLC-powered uh, machine uh, uh, sensor su suit. Uh, typically 8 to 12 sensors, and that allows us to extract a lot of information which we can then onboard into analytical platforms. You can import data into MATLAB, analyze the data, and extract very specific and advanced wisdom, uh, what we call uh, predictive maintenance. So I can tell you not only that this machine has a problem, but exactly where the problem is. Maybe you need to grease it, and, how, and what's the expected life of this machine. Uh, these solutions are sophisticated, they are expensive, and we don't care about them at Blue Vision. This is the one part of the universe where we feel is pretty well uh, 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 covered by many, many, many companies that you can see here on the, uh, uh, on the exhibition floor. Uh, what we care about is the lower cost engines. Uh, you're looking at a, a rotating engine that moves a conveyor belt in a soft drink uh, a company, uh, uh, a butler. Uh, factory, um, and this machine probably costs under a thousand euros. What we bring into MindSphere is the ability to create autonomous engine intelligence where the engine itself becomes aware of its condition and is able to deliver that information to you in an affordable, very simple uh, to deploy fashion. More specifically, this is a BLE sensor. It includes an 800 hertz, so low frequency, three-axis accelerometer, so we know how to mention vibration over X, Y, and Z uh, uh, coordinates. We know how to measure temperature. Um, we have versions of this device that go all the way up to 23 kilohertz, so it allows us to adhere to, to the higher ISO standards. What we do? is we power this device with artificial intelligence-driven machine learning. What does it mean? It means that we can take this little sensor and attach it to an engine. If you, the world of sensors, usually you will find that a sensor is built for a specific type of engine. Each engine has its own profile, and the sensors are devised and designed for a specific machine. As to Blue Vision, we don't care. Um, this sensor can sit on any machine you have. If you put it on learning mode, the sensor will spend two weeks analyzing what we call the normal or the healthy condition of a piece of equipment. Two weeks later, we can tell the sensor, OK, now we go live. And from that point on, the sensor will start to monitor and identify exceptions. When the machine is doing something it wasn't doing before, it wasn't normal for it. And when it does, it reports this data. We onboard all of this information into MindSphere. Standing at the, at the booth uh, uh, out, out there before, I had an interesting conversation uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the client, and he was talking about uh, measuring equipment and analyzing equipment, and I was talking to uh, the high-frequency uh, 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 sensing, and the guy said, you know, I don't care. All I care is this. Give me an alert, tell me that I have an engine on a conveyor belt down the line that is going to fail. I don't care why. I don't need to know why. It's a low-cost machine. I'm going to come in, pull it out, drop in a new device. I just want to avoid the unplanned downtime. And this is exactly up our alley, right? This is exactly what we do. What you can see here is a graph that shows temperature and a three-axis vibration profile peak-to-peak -peak RMS. So we know how to do advanced sensor uh, um, analytics. But at the end of the day, we really feel that the information that you care about the most when it comes to 80% of your rotating engine uh, portfolio is just to understand that the problem is existing or is building up towards a failure. Managed by exceptions means that instead of pulling up a lot of data from the sensor, so instead of importing into the cloud all the sample data, we can ask the sensor simply to identify exceptions and let us know. 
uh, that uh, accelerates deployments. It creates a very lightweight infrastructure. It creates a lightweight cloud data storage and processing uh, architecture. And it meets the very uh, uh, fundamental need of identifying and eliminating unplanned downtime. The implication, flexibility, ease of deployment, and speed. Uh, we are able to do all of those things with a sensor that costs 20 euros instead of 1,000 euros. And we are able to take a factory that is 0.0 factory and make it 4.0 advanced connected uh, uh, manufacturing environment uh, virtually overnight. And when I say overnight, I really mean it. Our deployments are consistent of us arriving at a factory site, uh, dropping sensors on equipment, uh, hooking them uh, up to the cloud and leaving, and we can do all of those things uh, as fast as a day. Um, getting started is easy. Uh, product is available online, so if you're listening to me and you're saying, hey, that's interesting, I would like to test that, you can actually go to uh, bluevision.com. Uh, there is an online store. You can order uh, a simple starter uh, kit uh, that includes uh, a Bluetooth to Wi-Fi bridge, what we call a BlueFi, uh, a suite of sensors, and you can actually play with them in the lab and, and get some results uh, uh, without even talking to us. So. The, point, the message is, it is that simple. If you're asking yourself, why us? Uh, why work with Blue Vision? Then uh, a few simple answers. Patented technology uh, that brings in artificial intelligence into a very low-cost, sub-$20 sensor. Uh, we are making available over 200 APIs that are either uh, JSON RESTful APIs or Kinesis live data stream type of APIs that allows you to pull the data into your own existing platforms. Uh, you can use our own dashboards and reporting tools that are available now inside of MindSphere. So you can bring on a MindSphere app that is Blue Vision. Um, and of course, you can implement uh, robust policies and uh, analytics on top of the, uh, what I call a very simple data set that we are offering. Um, the two important advantages that we bring to the table outside of feature and function and price is the fact that Blue Vision is one of the innovators and early players in the Bluetooth market as a whole. Uh, we do not only wireless sensors, also location, uh, and if you uh, stop by uh, the Siemens table right over there, you can pick up an employee badge. So this is uh, an employee badge uh, that actually is trackable. So the same Bluetooth uh, to Wi-Fi infrastructure we use to extract uh, data from sensors allows us to also track people. We do that for safety applications, typically. Uh, you can implement mastering, evacuations. You can measure subcontractors' performance on the line. Um, and we have been doing that for over 10 years now uh, with a deep integration across the technology stack, which allows you to implement a variety of solutions under a single Bluetooth wireless network umbrella. Uh, so a single cloud, a single wireless infrastructure, standard technology, your phones can play, um, and uh, you can deploy a variety of sensors and use cases under a single umbrella. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have questions or you want to talk to us, uh, we are right over there uh, at the Blue Vision booth. Uh, stop by, and thank you for your time.